Hello, and girls. Oh, hi, Guy. How's it going? Got you a tea. Grand job. Join us. Thank you very much. They've been busy studying the competition and considered every option for every aspect of their gravity racer. I like your, um, your Lego skills, mate. Including safety. Worst case, if it crashes, we want you to be safe. We're going to stick. Oh, not, not, not We're going to stick a steel chassis in there. Now, after weeks of work, they're ready to reveal the final design. Lots of work about, aren't they? Looks of work about. It's going to be cosy though in there, isn't it? You've got to have everything as tightly packed as possible. The lowest frontal area we can get. With its steel chassis, the gravity racer will be heavy, almost 190 kilograms with Guy on board. Being heavy will help Guy exploit gravity, but it won't help him start moving. So weight's not our friend in some cases? Not to start off with, right. no, because uh, we're going to have to overcome inertia. I, yeah, inertia, I always thought was... It's not rotated energy, it's not... Let me get that right. Have we got the diary? I've done the diary, the dictionary. To help Guy understand what inertia is and show why it's a problem for his gravity racer, the team meet up with a very strong woman and a very heavy truck. My name is Gemma Magnuson. I am four times Britain's strongest woman and two times world's strongest woman runner-up. I'm not falling out with Gemma. Yeah. Yeah, no cracking, lad. Ooh, she's got that full of truck. Inertia is best explained by the laws of Sir Isaac Newton. His first law of motion says, an object either remains at rest or continues to move at a constant velocity unless acted upon by an external force. In other words, a stationary seven-ton lorry's inertia wants to keep it stationary until some other force, in this case Guy Martin, acts upon it. Oh, of course I want to go. Yeah, bird can pull a truck. Surely I can pull a truck. So get, take the strain. I mean, I've been shifting trucks since I was a kid. I thought I could do that. Tiny steps, tiny steps. Just trying to feel the force of the truck against you. Yeah, it wasn't easy. It was not easy. Getting the truck from a still position to a moving position, that's the really difficult part. The reason why it's a difficult part is down to Newton's second law of motion. Force equals mass times acceleration, which means the more mass something has, the greater the force is needed to start it moving. Put some effort in! One guy! <laughs> sprint, sprint, sprint! But it also means that once Guy's got the lorry moving and he's no longer trying to accelerate, inertia's on his side. Once the truck had moved a millimetre, it was so much easier then. Now the lorry's inertia wants to keep it moving at a constant velocity, and it takes less effort from Guy to maintain that. Well, she was telling me to sprint, I couldn't sprint. You try sprinting with a seven-ton truck strapped to your back. You know about it. You know about it. <laughs> it's no good just me trundling off from the top and letting gravity take me up to top speed, because we're not going to have enough room. If we had an infinite length, of road you would reach terminal velocity eventually but because we've not got an infinite length we need to try and get you up to speed as quickly as possible guy is allowed a push start in his gravity racer to overcome inertia and heather christina and alice are keen that they should play their part by giving him that push In order to see just how explosive a push start can be, they've all come to the University of Bath. Here, two of the UK's best bobsleigh athletes, Nikki McSweeney and Anya Kay, will teach Heather, Christina and Alice how they can give Guy a very good start. What's the crack then? I'll demonstrate the starting position. Yeah. So both feet on the block, and you want fairly relaxed straight arms and you want about 90 degrees in your, in your legs. And literally you're going to push straight into the bobsleigh, so here. Okay? Okay. So do you want to have a go first? They made it look so easy and then when we came to do it, yeah, it's not so easy. Oh my gosh, that's hard! <laughs> <laughs> this is what, about 130 kilos you said this is? Right. So ours is going to be more than that, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be about 200. The energy and the speed that you're getting is all generated from your legs. It's only your upper body's staying strong so that that energy can transfer. Nice. After explaining the technique, 
and you and Nikki show the team exactly how it's done. Yeah? yeah. Get your helmet right, on. Right, so put the skid lid on. Yeah. The only thing that was a bit of a worry is the, yeah. is the sudden stop at the end. Yeah. Hey? <laughs> Just hold on, you'll be fine. Yeah? The well, race faces are on now, <laughs> hey? <laughs> done. They had a really good technique. Uh, you could see that they had been working together quite a bit. They were putting the power in. They propel Guy down the track in just 6.8 seconds. So if we use that as a benchmark yep. on two pros... Uh, yeah. Well, as non-pros, what do you think we should be aiming for? Yeah. We should be aiming for that. With their target set, the team try every combination of pairs to find out who'll be able to generate the most speed at the start of Guy's record attempt. That just looks the most awkward body position. Yeah. Don't you think? It just looks so awkward. You both that much. You're not They're looking at you back to eyes. <laughs> Rude buggy. Okay, you ready? Rude buggy. Right, hey. ready. Set. One, two, three. Explosion of power, that's what it is. Yeah, to overcome that initial inertia and then keep it going, 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 going before you push away and before I'm left for gravity to do its job. Like we learn a hundredth of a second on the top, by the time you get to the bottom, it makes three hundredths of a second. The best combination of pushers proves to be Heather and Alice, with a time of just 7.6 seconds. That was the nearest any combination got to the two pros, you know, Anya and Nikki. And I think we sussed it out. I'm quite happy, I'm quite happy we sussed it out. Hopefully, we'll come away from this with a world record. OK, training. <laughs> <laughs> See you on the gym on Monday, yeah? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? That was it. <laughs>